Hope Ariano, I'm 19 years old and I'm from Wellington, Florida. My family is by far my biggest supporters. My brothers, they are so supportive of me every day in everything that I do. My dad is an incredible coach. I feel so fortunate that I have him. And my mom, I mean, she is, she's everything. She's our rock of our family. She's given up her life to help me and to help our whole, our whole family, the two boys, just to, to really go for our dreams. There's so many women that have opened up holes for women's polo and made it grow such a tremendous amount. Nina and Hazel, they are the only two 10 goalers in the world and they are, I mean, they're on a different level. They are spectacular, they're so smart. If I reach 10 goals, I wanna to continue to try to get better because obviously every day I feel like you can learn something. As any polo player knows, you work so hard every, every day to try to get your horses playing to the top of their ability to work to better your string. In the finals, I played off of eight horses and I brought a lot back and I couldn't be more proud of every single one of them. You can't get a better award than Best Playing Pony. I'm super grateful to um, Andres who's been helping me all season long, prepping them and getting them ready. They all gave me everything. The one that won Best Playing Pony is a super special horse for me, so it was really neat for, for her to win. Matisse Magrini sent her with me to, to sell um, a few years ago, and I had her for a little while, and she was a really, really nervous horse. She didn't like her ears to be touched. She always had to have a companion with her. She was just a little bit, little bit of a nervous horse, as we all know can happen. And I remember I went back to Argentina, and I was like, Matias, I can't sell her. I'm in love with her. She's always been a really nice horse, but she, she wasn't at the top of my string and I bought her and every every game she gives me everything. She gives me her whole art. Whether she is absolutely exhausted and can't give me the run, she will run as fast as she possibly can. Last year, Pamela Flanagan called me and said, would you like to join our, our team? We're gonna be playing under La Fe. It'll be me, you and Hazel. Later on, we found out that we were gonna play with Winnie. When we made it to the finals, we were like, okay, let's enjoy this, but we want it. I remember the last horn win, I looked at the scoreboard, I was like, six chuckers, like that's it, like it's done. And I like couldn't, I honestly couldn't believe it.